In today's video, we're going over a very interesting and yet controversial topic. Is there such thing as too much carbon fiber? Let's get started. What's up you guys, welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name's Josh. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to yet another video. So if you like my videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and check me out over at JG Media over on Instagram. Today we got a really, really good one for you. I'm very curious to also know your guys' opinion. So feel free to drop a comment down below. Feel free to be a part of the conversation. Is there such thing as too much carbon fiber? So today we're gonna go over, I have a custom BMW emblem from Impulse Design and a custom BMW emblem from Nelson Racing in full car carbon fiber both of these custom products are absolutely fantastic very high quality and looks super super nice but it kind of got to the point in my car where even adding in a custom emblem like this which obviously we're going to throw on the car today being that the thumbnail and title of this video is is there too much carbon fiber is that a thing is it some nonsense well i kind of got to the point where i had to really reconsider whether i had enough or too much carbon fiber on my car i absolutely love just different variations i've had on my car my car has been through so many different forms and to see where it's at right now i've, I've kind of got to the point where i really really am content but i have to really sit there and consider whether or not there is too much carbon all over the car especially once we throw on these carbon badges they look absolutely fantastic but the front end is just it's got a lot of carbon fiber so i'm definitely curious to know your guys opinion is there such thing as too much carbon fiber we're gonna go ahead and head out to the car get these installed checking out the carport we got some fresh mst stickers fresh banner over on the back left i'm not gonna lie i'm loving the new mst stickers and i'm loving this new banner we just need a new banner for over here on the right but could totally use some recommendations so you guys should let me know which banner I should get. But yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving this MST banner. Ever since I've just had a little bit of experience with both the N20 MST intake and the N55 MST intake, I'm a huge fan of MST. Those intakes look freaking spectacular and sound even better. So I'm very, very content with the new banner. All right, so here she is, 2015. M235i, we got a beautiful sunny day over in New Jersey. Finally some nice weather. This 235i is finally full bolt-ons, full AW exhaust, downpipe, mid-pipe, like I was talking about the MST intake, the MST inlet pipe. Pretty much performance-wise, I mean, already running a stage two tune by Pro Tuning Freaks, and we're pretty much ready for some more power but that's not what today's video is about today's video we're going over is there such thing as too much carbon fiber so i mean yeah it looks great we got a lot of carbon up front the eyelids the grills the fangs the front lip we got some mirror caps we got the shark fin in the back some carbon fiber side skirts carbon fiber spoiler carbon fiber diffuser and what else i'm probably forgetting a bunch i've actually already started to tone it down a little bit so with the GTS hood, with the vent piece that comes with it, I actually had gotten a custom piece hydro dipped in carbon. It actually arrived damaged, unfortunately, but that was one of the things that for a while it was really bothering me. So I ended up just taking that off, being that I'm already kind of toning things down on the carbon fiber. I took the piece that originally came with the GTS hood and I spray painted it gloss black and it actually came out really really good i'm surprised that i really like the gloss black and i'm surprised how well it came out i mean i've never really done much paint and it came out pretty good so my first ever paint 
attempt was this side skirt that I attempted to just paint white. It had just gotten messed up and the paint was chipping and honestly, even though that looks absolutely terrible right here, that looks really, really bad. So I mean, yeah, that was my first attempt ever at paint. I mean, it actually looks a lot better than what it used to look like. So yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of paint work, get that touched up. I'll probably eventually just get the bumper resprayed as well. But yeah, I'm also just at a point where I'm just ready for some change. I'm probably going to get rid of all the M color vinyl. And like I was saying, even just to even just to tone things down on the carbon, I'm probably going to take off the carbon fiber fangs off of the bumper, especially once we get this emblem on there. The emblem's going to look great, but I'm kind of at a point where it might be a little bit too much carbon fiber. So let me know what you guys think. Does that exist? Is there such thing as too much carbon fiber? So then before we get started and remove this OEM badge, here are the two custom emblems I currently have. The one on the right from Nelson Racing. Absolutely fantastic work. The one on the left from Impulse Design with the custom black outer ring. So a while ago I had made my attempt. I took off the OEM badge and just vinyl wrapped it myself just to see how well I could do. It came out pretty well, but I mean, it probably looks a lot better in camera in pictures and videos and whatnot. But honestly, compared to the custom badge from Impulse Design, it kind of looks terrible. This badge from Impulse Design looks really, really nice. So when I had spoken with him about just, you know, the creativity and the arts, I mean, I'm obviously one to really appreciate the custom work, especially with stuff like my steering wheel. Impulse Design had let me know that he had gone through a lot of, lot of emblems just with practicing, just to get it right. And I mean, the finished product nowadays looks really good, but we're gonna take it a step further and go with these custom badges from Nelson Racing. And this is looking amazing. Just like that. Quite possibly the easiest installs we've ever done on this channel. Carbon emblem, the blacked out M235i badge. And these are looking fantastic. So I'm definitely thinking I might tone it down, take off all the M colors. I really like the vinyl and the overall way it looks. We just recently got some new stickers as well. But yeah, like I was saying, I really like the way the vinyl looks. I mean, yeah, it's for the M2. We had to make it fit the F22. It's different because I haven't seen many F22s rocking this. But I'm already feeling some change. So I'm thinking I'm going to remove all the M colors. Probably also remove the carbon off the fangs. 
as these carbon badges look so nice. Nelson Racing with that quality, quality carbon. Choo! So, like I said, quite possibly the easiest installs we've ever done on this channel. The carbon emblems, the Black Dial M235i badge, looks great, really complements the car. But I'm definitely very curious to get your guys' take on, is there such thing as too much carbon fiber? Let me know, should I tone it down a little bit? I'm thinking I should, I'll probably get rid of the fangs, tone it down a little bit, and let me know, should I take off all the vinyl, switch it up a little bit? Definitely need your guys' recommendation, but if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Thumbs up, too much carbon, thumbs down, that's not a thing, doesn't exist. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out over at JG Media over on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.